What is the uncommon truth? Let's start by defining the common truth. Well, from my perception, it's what most of us think or what we individually accept or decide is our truth. But does that mean it is the truth? Now let's define what is uncommon about the truth. Discover what the truth is. As people, as we're going through our life, each of us in our circumstances, our children, our, it never ends the question of, is this the truth? Yes. Yeah. How do people discover the truth? And that, that's a, because of all the clutter out there and all the answers out there and all the options out there, like never before in the history, in the history of the world, people get confused and people uh, listen to things that aren't the truth and go down these paths for quite a long time. So I was just reading um, some data on the amount of um, depression there is in people today uh, and some startling statistics that 50% of uh, people in North America experience depression uh, significantly through uh, the, cor the, the course of a year. Uh, and, and many of these people are, are depressed much of the time or all of the time. And there's reasons for that, of course, but it's hard, it's hard to think clearly. It's hard to think, to seek out the truth when you're depressed, when, when, you're, when you're struggling. Um, so, and life is a struggle. There, you know, I look back on my life and uh, I, I, I've struggled mightily at times um, in careers, starting businesses, in relationships, with raising my children. Mm. And there's fascinating, powerful lessons that come out of those experiences. But when you're in the midst of it, when you're in the midst of a divorce or you're in the midst of failing school or um, uh, uh, businesses has uh, gone bankrupt on you or these, these, tr these, and Keith, you talked about these being times of transition. Mm -hmm. um, it's very, very difficult to, to, to seek the next step, to do the right thing. M much of the time people are frozen in place. Um, or going down bad paths. I think uh, the use of of um, oxycontin and other uh, uh, prescription prescriptive pills are as are at the highest rates we've ever seen too. So people are looking for answers, but it's very very difficult to find those answers. They're not necessarily on the internet. Where they no. can where they can be found is by by seeking wise counsel by going to the people that have been through this stuff before. And I think that's another reason for this, uh, for our group to exist, um, Tony and Heath. It's, it's to give wise counsel. It's to listen to people's stories. It's to help them ask the questions and, and find their way. Um, the truth is there, but it takes the ability to find the wise counsel, seek the wise counsel, and also look in the mirror and and uh, yeah. and figure out like what what just happened? Why did my business go bankrupt? Why did that relationship oh. not work? And really be have that self introspection. It comes down to something that I heard Les Brown say. And our society today has the tendency that easy equals right. And Les Brown has this great saying that if it's easy at the beginning, it will be hard at the end. If it's hard at the beginning. It will be easy at the end. So this journey of life, in my opinion, is actually not meant to be easy. And we should be asking a question about the truth if it is too easy, because the struggle is how we learn and grow. So Tony, what, what do you think about that, the whole point of us discovering the truth? Something's going through my mind as you were, as you were talking about this, and it's, you know, there's, there's definitely these things are hard, right? There's, we're going to hit struggles. We're going to have to go through these things in life and to figure out the answers to these things is, is a challenge. And I think that's where a lot of people fall into, you know, the, the drugs or the depression or things like that, because that, that decision-making process, right? That, that moment that you need to get to is perhaps uncomfortable, right? That moment of truth where you go, I need to give up this addiction, or I need to quit this job, or I need to make this transition is a scary decision for somebody to make. It's a hell of a lot easier for you to go hide in a hole and, you know, drink or do drugs or get caught up in Netflix, whatever your, you know, addiction is of, of the time, 
Um, it's easy to get away from that, right? But, you know, I think that there's an incredible opportunity. And this, I think, would maybe be some of the counsel to the 21-year-olds is that, is that at this time, we have an unprecedented amount of information and access and tools at our disposal to mm -hmm. be able to do anything, right? At, at one point, as a 21-year-old, you knew that your path to getting anywhere was intern, work long hours, be a slave to the commute, like do all of these kind of things. Now, I would argue, as a 21-year-old, you have as much access as the 55-year-old executive who's been doing this for 30 years because you can go on a YouTube channel and get a million views tomorrow if you do something crazy enough or interesting enough or whatever it happens to be. Valuable enough. Exactly. Or, well, ideally, ideally it's valuable enough, but if, I mean, if you, if you do something wacky, then you'll yeah. get eyeballs as well. Right? Exactly. <laughs> well the, said, brother. <laughs> <laughs> the, the point is the, you know, the attention side of things. And I think what that does for people, young and old today, is that we have an unprecedented amount of access and ability to learn quickly and sort of fail fast, right? My background is Silicon Valley for the last chunky years there is a mantra down there that you fail fast and you fail often and that's just kind of the way that that it is right um and you you get to that point where either you know that you you have you know it's going to work or it's not but just get to that decision right away and as people struggling through a transition point or starting their life journey and realizing that they need to do this thing called adulting or whatever it is mm -hmm. um they have the ability go make a YouTube channel and see if you can make a run of it for, for a few months on the side while you're waiting tables or while you're doing this other stuff or you're going to school. I'm like, why not try a side hustle where you do copywriting for uh, an athletic agency because you have a passion for sports statistics? Like there's, it is so easy and so quick to get out there and do these things and move quickly through them that you'll find out very quickly in three months or six months whether it worked or not. And the beautiful thing that you'll gain from that is experience. And that is the thing that yeah. you cannot, you cannot skip over. You need to learn these things for yourself. And while you're trying to find those answers, you have to realize these answers are very personal, right? Your why and your answers are not necessarily going to be the same as everyone else's, right? But you have the ability to move so quickly yeah. through these things and get to that point now that I think people have the ability during these uncomfortable times to be able to move quickly and learn this stuff because these tools are at your disposal. The key is not to get overwhelmed by them. It's how to kind of harness them for good, not evil, let's say.